Okay, so to start showing you how our lights are behaving and what our lights are doing, what I will do is I will start by hiding all the lights. I will hide our dome light. And if you see, there is nothing there, okay? So the first thing we are doing is to adding this dome light that as you see, there is like, it gives us a really, really low, low amount of light that if I go here and I go, I go to the light, okay? Let's go here. Let me go to the light here. If I go to the intensity of one, you will see that we are going to get much more lighting and we are getting, we are getting a pretty okay com illumination just with the HDRI, but it's not what we are, it's not what we are looking for, right? Like we want to do like a more like manual illumination. We could just call it a day with the HDRI, but I think it's better to, to go and, and to create a more interesting illumination with different lighting and stuff. In another, we will create later some other light rigs that it will be just HDRI. And in that way, what we will do is we will test how this character behaves in different light situations. And I will show you that later. But for now, what we are going to do is to see how, how, how much flatter it looks, everything just with the HDRI. So yeah, what I will do is I will put the HDRI here, intensity 0.2. I will go to, I will stop this and I will go and put the GPU render. Okay, I'll put it in four. So this goes a bit faster. Uh, let's replay here. It might take some, a bit of time to, to think now, but the once, once the render start working, it will, it will read, it will work much faster. Okay, there we go. See, yeah, this works much faster. So here we have, we have this is the HDRI. It just has like an intensity of 0 0.2 and we are getting this result. The first light that I want to include is the light here at the top. And as you see, like I started with this light because I wanted to check how the dreadlocks work. And if you see here, if we go, if we zoom in here, what we are going to get is we are going to get this really nice, nice light here. I know it's not, it's not the, like the most intuitive first light to put, but I liked, I wanted to check how, how the dreadlocks were working. The second light will be our key light, okay? And that our key light will be this one. That this is the main light source, that this will be the strongest one, okay? Usually what you want to try to do is to try to, if you are working with HDRI and lights, to try to match this light um, with the direction of the HDRI. In my case, again, the HDRI is just for uh, for reference, like just for reflections and stuff. So we are adding this. And as you see now, we have like a nice light from the top that is giving us this reflection here, this nice lighting in the dreadlocks, and we a key light that is kind of filling up the space and is giving us some nice results. The thing is, I want to give a bit more life to this. So for this, something that is really, really cool for, like, let's say, let's say that we don't have the dome light. If we don't have the dome light, you will see that when we apply this light, what we are having is we are having like a really dark, really light dark side, and we need to we need to add some light to that, right? So, if we add if we add another light here, what you will see is, I mean, go, we will go we will add a light here that is called the field light. Okay, then if we see here, let me let me hide it. If we see how here we have all these dark areas. And if I add this light, we are going to get a bit, a hint of this. So for the key light, I added an exposure of 16.6, okay? And for the for the fill light, I'm adding like something like 13. And for the upper one, around 14. Another thing that we can start playing with this is the color, or I really like to use temperature with this. So if we go here to the use color temperature, what we can do is to change the temperature of the light. So basically like lower numbers are warmer lights. So if we go here, let's go extreme. You will see that this is really, really warm. And if you go like the other way around, it gets really, really cold. So actually it's looking quite interesting, but let's go a bit to the warmer sides now. Okay, so let's go something like this. So as you see, like just one light changed a lot the mood of the character, right? It's not the same this, than this, okay? But it's good to work on the temperature, not the color, because the temperature will give you a much more natural result than if you change the color. If you change the color, what you will have is that you might have more, 
I mean, maybe if you are looking for like something, some sci-fi or something, you can add colors because the light will be color. But in our case, we want something more natural. So I think like to, to work on the temperature side will be, will be better. So in my case, I will add this like a bit warm here. And what I will do is the fill light, I will go to the other way. I will go a bit, a bit like cooler in the fill light. Okay, so just to get some contrast there. After the fill light, so we have an upper light here, a fill like a, the key light here, and our area light here that is the, the fill light. Something that is really important for characters is to, we want these to get like, further from the background, right? This gets start to melt for the background. So what we want is, is not this one, is not this one, is this one. We want something that is called a rim light. So as you see, see how we started getting some really nice, like, like really nice lighting here in the, in the, con in the, in the border of the body. And this gets, our character to pop up much more from the background. So this is really interesting. So in this case, I will go here to the panel, look through and we can we can play a bit with this. So let me just add a section here. Okay. So we can play a bit with this where if we go a bit more in this direction, let me so like this, press F, okay. So if we go here, I mean, maybe I'm a bit, if I go here, see how we are, I'm, I'm too far. So I will get a bit closer. What we will see is we are starting getting this, but all in the side. But if I start getting a bit more to the back, what you will see is we are going to get this silhouette like really nice, nicely defined here. So this is this is something really cool for characters that is always nice to have. And in this case, for example, what we could do with this light is to use also temperature and go a bit to the bluer sides. So again, yeah, we get we get some nice contrast there. I like usually to add another, let me go to the perspective. I like to add another rim light on the other side. So if you see, if we have this light here, if I turn it off, see like this. And if I turn it on, you will see that we are starting to get like, an, like also is popping up. You need to be careful with this because it, it can get like a bit too fake. So don't overdo it. I think I'm, here I'm, exaggerating it a bit just to get this kind of like really pop up. But we, if we are trying to do like a really, really realistic lighting, uh, maybe you can you can go a bit softer on this. I think at the moment what I want is to enhance all the details from the character. Then for, I added two more lights that are in the bottom. So if I go here, remove this. So if you see, I added like a, a light at the bottom here. Uh, let's go here light here just to fill up a bit of this space here. Another one on the other side. So if you see the difference, doesn't make a lot of difference, but if you see, see the, the fit here. And if I go, I turn it on, see how now it's still dark, but you see the details there. That's what I, that's what I meant before. I want, I want this character to be seen, right? Like I want these to, to show the character the best as possible. And then the last light that I'm adding is a light in the background. So as you see, the background was the background was a bit like a bit dark. So I added a light in the background to get the light the, the background a bit lighter. Maybe I went a bit too far, so I'll go to 16 here. Okay, and then I will turn up the dome, so we have like everything like much lighter. Um, maybe like you can play with this. You can play with the intensity of this. As we said before, we can we can play with the temperature of the key light, for example. So to get like a nicer, more warmer result. I think in our case, the the, um, the dome light is giving a lot of the color of this. So if I if I remove the dome light and I play with this key light temperature, it gives me like a much, much more warmer or colder result. So play a bit with this and see what do you like in terms of the studio lighting? But I think this this kind of setup is giving me like a like a nice result, and with this we can we can work on a turntable. So in our next videos, I will show you like different different HDRIs that I use just to show the character in different ways, and 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 how the character and how the lights how is why is good to to use different HDRIs to test how the character looks.